Hello, everyone. Welcome to day 17 of our Vlogmas series. And we are so pumped up, so excited to come your way with another tutorial. In this episode, we'll look at how to find a mode of a data set. That's specifically a list. All right, so let's generate a sample list. Say we have A, B, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 9, 1, 20. All right, so we have a list. And if we import our NumPy package, okay. Now um, there are basic statistics that the NumPy would be able to do. For instance, finding the mean, finding the median, you can easily do that in NumPy. So if I print out my NP, in this case, dot mean of our data set A, that should give us the average of the data. And then if we also print out the median, that would also give us the median of the data which is in this case, the midpoint, all right. But then if I try to find the mode and I try np.mode, it generates an error. We have an error produced because the mode isn't an attribute of the NP, it's not a package under the NP. And so to do this, it's, um, it's quite a challenge for most people, but then there's a simple way around it. What we can just do is to First off, um, we change our list into a set. So let's say set of A. And then outside that, we pass a key, which will be equal to the A dot the count. So it generates a counter of all the individual elements. And then when we generate a count as the keyword for our set, we then pass out the max on it. So in there, we have the maximum of our set A using a keyword of the count of A, and then this should just produce the mode. So we can print this out. And from our list, the most frequent entity is one. So if I just pass this out, we have the output one as the mode. And so there's an easy way to generate your mode. Um, we've already dealt with Lambda functions and then also how to you know, build self-defined functions. So you can pass this as an input into a function and then get to reproduce it all the time whenever you want to use it. And so that's all for today's brief but interesting session. We hope you would enjoy and then keep practicing. And like always, it's always bigger at the top. So let's keep exploring and then becoming better with our Python programming lesson. Do have an amazing day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you are having any you know, challenge or you have any question, leave it in the comment section and then the team would address also to our old subscribers, we'll say a big thank you to you all for sticking with us. Have an amazing day and then be good. Bye-bye.